Hello my friends, so welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Footless Bear, this is your story based gaming channel, and today, today we're in a desert. Why do I always get lost in the desert? Like, <laughs> I mean, seriously, why am I always getting lost in deserts? But yeah, I, I got a sheet of paper next to me and a pen, and I think what I'm going to do is basically grid off the desert to try to explore to the best of my ability. I mean, the, the, the last desert wasn't too big, but I have a feeling this one's going to be bigger. So, yeah, I, I came prepared today, and uh, we're going to crack on. So, let's go. I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. It's been a long time since I've had to map things. I remember playing a game called Lagoon where I had to do it all the time, and that was a thing. Okay, so we have spring, and then we have one to the left, and we have a pit uh, up top, and you can go down. And this leads us nowhere? Correct. Okay. So I think I am going to rewind back here. And get stuck and not being able to move. Okay. Well, let's go down. Okay. So down takes us to the entrance. So this is the entrance. All right. <clears throat> Fair enough. So let's head to the right to the spring. And then from the spring, we can go up, down, and right. So up, down, and right. Uh, we're gonna go down first, because I'm filling in this map. Uh, that's not what I meant by down. Sorry, I was looking at my uh, my little map that I'm making. I wasn't looking at the screen. Okay, so we're gonna go down. And this is completely blocked off. So, blocked off with the pit to the right. Now, and we have to go back to the spring regardless. So it doesn't really matter about rewinding time here. It's fine. Now, is the is the entrance to the next area more likely to be up or more likely to be right? Now, since according to my map, um, the entrance was down into the left. I'm thinking that the end the, the exit's probably out forward that way. So let's go right here. Like I said, it's been a while since I had to draw a map. Okay, so we can go up. So we can go up here. Ah, I just lost my pen. And it looks like there's a pit to our right. Although I don't know if that pit takes up the entire side of the screen yet, so I'm not gonna draw it on my map. All right, giant flies and scorpions. Wow, that's a big bug. Can be a day fly. That thing's huge. Yes. Gush. Tush. Gush. Gush. Nice. Fantastic start to today's episode. Absolutely fantastic. I could not have planned that better myself. Cool boogie. And I think that was the one that we needed to max out Maru's uh, additions. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a magic six stone on him. Just for safety reasons. Plus, she doesn't need to do an addition right now. Dang it! Yeah, I knew it would be unsunned if I failed an addition. That's kind of why I did it. Nice. 
guys. Boom, Kush. So that should have been all of uh, Mero's additions. I may have to replace Mero for a while. Because she has no more additions left. I know there's going to be a bunch of people upset about that in the comment section, but... I mean, I, I want to make sure that I can get other people's additions up. And I mean, look at Hashel. Hashel has, what is this, 80, 160, 240, 300 additions to do before he gets his ultimate. Rose has, well, Rose isn't too far. But, um, but yeah, hmm. It, it, it's going to be a while. And then you got someone like Miranda, who's only a level, yeah. Uh, I think I need to get Albert or Hashel in here because they both have uh, two dragon levels. So, Meru, I love you, girl, and I will see you very soon. Don't worry, if we run into a boss, I'll probably put you in the party. But for now, temporarily, we're replacing you for... Uh, let, let's get... I don't want to put Albert and Congo in the same party. That's not smart. Uh, let's get Hatchel in here. And we'll give him... We'll give him the... <clears throat> the, uh, the bandage ring. And for Dart, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace Soul Eater with Mind Crush. That way I could give him the ultimate War God. And that way he can start really spamming the heck out of that. So he can try to get to level seven. Hashel's additions, am I afraid of his additions? I don't think so, not yet at least. I think I can do Floria six. Yeah, I think I can do Floria 6. And Kongo is still Kongo. Yeah, we can have Kongo in there. Although we're not fighting a boss right now. So let's replace Kongo as well. And we'll replace Kongo with uh, Albert. Which means I got to do a little bit of maintenance here. Sorry about this, everyone. Uh, I got to... Why don't I get more work out to Amulet? That way he doesn't miss. And if he doesn't miss, then he'll be able to do his additions better. And I need to put the speed ring on him because he's got the lowest speed. All right, cool. Ah! <laughs> All right, that is a pit. So I can verify that is a pit now. Uh, did I, did I see if we could go down? I don't know. I, I don't think I went down. This whole episode may be just this desert. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I really, really am. But at the same time, this is just a part of the game. And I like to show off as much of the game as possible, unless I'm grinding or backtracking. Okay, we can go down. So we can go down. So let's go down. The idea being that up is probably the the correct way to go. Do not want to fall down that pit there. Oh, okay. Uh, we do want to fall down this pit, but not yet. Okay, so there's pits on both sides. So, pit. Pit. Is there a down? There is no down. So... I think we do want to go into this pit then. Yeah, yeah, let, let's go into this pit. I I know that this, this desert's going to take me a, a, a little bit of time to get through. So I'm trying to cut out a little bit of the unnecessary encounters at the moment. Just because it's going to take us so long to get through this place. Hopefully you guys understand that. Uh, what are we going to get rid of? Recovery ball? I know it sells for good, but it's probably the thing we should get rid of. 
Uh, we should also, you know, we never really get petrified. And the one time I get petrified, I'll probably need it. Uh, let's get rid of a healing fog as well. Although I probably could have used that on someone. Ah, we got a recovery ball. Well, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of lame. I wonder if the other areas take us up to other springs. Or, let, let me go back and check that. Because there is multiple exits to this place, and it seems like every exit takes you to a spring. So, do these all take me to springs too? Or is this further in whatever this cave is? It's further in whatever this cave is. I should probably explore the cave before we go back outside. Doesn't seem to be any encounters here, so it's not a big deal. How the heck? Okay, you got that chest by falling. Oh, these are all chests. Okay, so the so basically what this is telling me is there is one, two, what, like two more chests that we know of. There may be another area too. So let's let's not let, let's not make that uh, an absolute. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to the right and then go up. And then we want to see if there's a pit to the right. Nope, there's an exit. There's an exit. Exit. So this area allows me to go in every direction. And this area connects with the previous area. So let's, we, we don't, yeah, let's go back here. I'm filling in a map. Okay, so there's a pit to the top of the screen. And then there's an exit to the left. Uh, let's go in the pit to see what's in the pit. Nothing. Okay. Let's go left then. And there is a pit down. So, which makes sense because the uh, the area to the south of us has a pit going up. So there's a pit going down. Let's go in that pit right away, just to see what's in here. Nothing. Okay, so there is an up, and there's nothing to the left. So, go up. I think I hit the wall. Like, the left side, I don't think you can go anymore on the left side. Okay, let's go up. And you can go further up, or there's a pit. Okay, so going up, and then there's a pit going to the right. <clears throat> I like how the mantis is following me. Okay, that didn't help. So let's continue to go up. And treasure box. How it, ooh. Oh, that might be really good. That's what I think it is. That is what I think it is. Oh, oh, oh that is amazing. Uh, I need to get rid of an item. Okay, so up. Uh, My, my map is just getting all out of whack. It's, it's been a long time since I've drawn maps. Uh, ooh, okay, so we have double pits. So this is a dead end. Oh, this one drops me to where I may need to go though to get that chest. Okay, this does drop me to where I wanna get the chest, but the question is, if I go up, is this a dead end? Yes, that's a dead end. So I want to I, I want to drop down to the right. Perfection. Okay, so that's a dead end on the left side. Okay. 
Sun Rhapsody. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Yeah, that's just an MP pot. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, that's just an MP pot. So let's get rid of that. Clear up some inventory. And then, according to my map, we have to go up to the right and then either to the right or up. Okay. So, right and then up. And then either up or right. Let's go right. Because again, I, I think, yeah. Based on the way your map is going, it looks like up is progress. But there is a lot of mantis here. Oh my god, there's a lot of mantis. Um, let me go back. Because it looks like there's a dead end, and then there's an up. So... There may be chests, though. I need to double check. No chests here. Okay, let me draw a map. Uh, let's see. Um, you can go up or down. I went down. There's a pit to my left. The one screen to the left of me, there's a pit. So I can imagine there's probably a pit to the left here. Yes, there is. Uh, let's go down the pit. There is a down as well. Okay, that did nothing. So let's go down. And then this is probably a dead end. There's so many mosquitoes in this place. Aha, chest. Ladies. Okay. It's probably for Albert, isn't it? Yeah, probably is. Or not? Who uses the Gladius? Rose? Rose. Plus five. Instantly kills enemies with given probability. Not bad. And I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. I couldn't move when I came out of the menu. I, I just... And there's a manatee that's like grounded. He can't move either. So it looks like both of us got stuck on each other. There may be like a multiple fight here because I may have to fight a... um. Uh, one of those dragonflies as well. Alright, let's do some addition training here, gentlemen. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Dang. This dude hit like... This dude hit so hard. Uh, Dart, I want, uh, I'd rather the other two get some experience here. If I actually hit. Come on, Flightless. It's not a hard combo to do. I'm gonna have to do some major addition training to try to see everyone's ultimates. That's gonna take some time. <clears throat> That's gonna take a lot of time. All right, so this fellow's down, interesting enough, here. So there seems to be multiple ways to get these chests. Huh, would not expect that. Okay, so we need to go up, up, right, up, or up, up, right, right, up. Okay, so right, and then up. And then we could go up here, but I'm gonna go right and up, because I wanna, I wanna go across the, uh, the edge here. There's a lot of manatees. Because I wanna comb the outsides before going on the insides. Okay, hold on. Let me just fly into this. Okay, 
So pit here. That leads to nowhere. Really? Is it a dead end? That's a dead end. Huh. All right. Fair enough. So we only have one way now to go, which is up, right, up. Yep. And we know we can't go to the right from that location because there's a pit over there. Which means there's probably a pit to the right on this screen. Like back-to-back -back pits. Question is, is a pit to the left? No. Yep, I was right. There is a pit to the right. Well, let's jump into it. Okay, I could go left though, right? I could go right. Could I go up? My map's not complete. Let's go down here to try to readjust. So I don't fall. Can I go up from here? Yes, I can. So if I go, oh, hold on, hold on. I need to I need to draw my map. So I could go up from here. I can also go left here. And to the left of us is a pit, and down there's a pit. So there's probably going to be a pit to the left and down. And there's probably going to be a way to go up. There is a way to go up, and there is a pit down. Okay. Um, now I need to go left. Let's go ahead and fight this fight. You know, this may be a really good place to grind uh, for stuff because if they're just individual sandworms, then you could just lock them down and they're not a problem at all. And because they have a lot of life, you can really get a lot out of these guys. Because it's really easy to lock these guys down. There's only one of them. Wow, flightless. How do you miss a halberd? How do, how do I keep missing? Flightless, stop it. You're embarrassing yourself here. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I do not know what's wrong with me right now. I have no clue at all. Oh, look at this. Level up uh, new magic. Gaspless. You know, maybe that's why I should put on Hashel. Like, I didn't know what to put on the guy. But I think I know now what to put on the guy. Uh, I should put on... Give me a second. Give me a second. This. The War God Sash. Because that will increase how much uh, SP I get. Which will in turn increase how quickly I get dragon forms. And consequently, I'm also stuck on this stupid sand hill. Uh, I need to get off this spot. That's a really big bug. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know how I'm not freaking out at that thing. Because I really should be freaking out at that thing. Because I am not good at bugs. That thing is a little bit scary. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit scary. Probably because it's so big. Yeah, I, I have a thing about bugs, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> Take that, glory of sticks. About dang time I did that. Kinda got lucky it didn't hit me with any magic. Although I think it just poisoned. No, I don't. I, I don't see any status effect there. Okay, I need to hold up and right so I don't get stuck in this pit. Okay, so I could go up here. 
Or I could go up on the left. Uh, did I see what's to the left? I I'm stuck on this stupid twister thing. Like, I can't get off it. It's not letting me go up. I'm just stuck there. Okay, maybe these guys aren't so easy if they don't... If they come with friends. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've seen that before. That was neat. Take that, glory of sticks. I think I called that a halberd earlier. So I'll prune. Come on, fly. Let's get the addition to it. Lock this guy down. have a lot of life which is really good for addition training. Sweet. Got an attack ball. That's not really helpful. Uh, no, I do not want to replace it. No, I do not want to replace it. Okay, let me let me alt this stupid thing. Thank you. All right, I can go up here. Can I go left? Left is a pit, which doesn't lead me anywhere. So let's go up. So turn another square. Okay. Left is a pit. Let's go down it. And once again, it leads me back to this location. So that's not. Can I please not get stuck in this stupid vortex? All right, uh, check right. I can go to the right. Check up, I can go up. So I can go right, I can go up. And I don't know what's to the right, but I know it's, there's a box there. I know there's a box here. Basically, my boxes are screens. And I'm at a spring with four locations and a save point. Okay, let's go back. Let's head to the right. Because I have a feeling that's progress. Okay, we have a pit to the top. And what do we have to the right? Nothing. Okay, well, let, let's... Let's fall down the pit. And if nothing's there, I can rewind and we'll head back to the spring. And then at the spring, uh, I think the best way to go based on my map is to the left first. Yeah, based on my map, the best way to seem to be going is to the left first. Because the the screen below left is a pit area. And there's not been any way to go further left than what we are. So it kind of seems like that's going to lead me to either a dead end or something else. Oh, where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going up into this bit. Hope I haven't missed anything. I mean, I am drawing maps, so it's not like I'm... I'm wandering around clueless here. I do have maps that I'm drawing. 
Okay, let's head left. It looks like up is progress. I mean, that's the save point is closest to the up area. So let's head left. And pit here, just as I anticipated. Because there's a pit on the other side. Okay. That doesn't help me. Why did I have to go back that far? That was weird. That was really weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm assuming the left side is also, like I said, a dead end. Can we go up? Can go up. Is there any treasure over here? No, there's not. I'm stuck again. Okay, let's go up. And to the up, I have further up. So up can go twice. What's to the right? The right is going to the right, which makes sense because that's right above the spring. So yeah, it makes sense that you can go up, uh, to the right there. How about further up? No pits up here. Is there a pit to the right? No, that's an area to the right. Interesting. So, to the right. Do I want to go to the right here, though? Uh, probably not, but let's go anyway. Oh, that's interesting. I would not have expected a pit here. I would not have expected a pit here. Okay, so there's a pit to the south. I can't go up at all. Look at that. I can't go up at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I can go up. Okay, so there is a way to go up here. I'm running out of room on my map. Uh, I need to check this. Um, I need to check this bit. Nothing. Can I go to the right here? I can go to the right here. So I can go the right here. Let's go up. This looks like an exit. That clearly looks like an exit. So we found the exit. Probably. Uh, what's the best way to go? Should I go down into the right or back left down into the right? I think I go down into the right because the spring can easily connect me to the other area. Okay, I'm not expecting anything to the top. Oh, chest. What's in the box? God, I hate the inventory in this game. It's so annoying. All that for healing potion? Oh! Okay. Um, so right. I think right's completely a dead end. Except for this pit here. And there's a box there, but hold on. I, I wanna I wanna check this. I wanna make sure there's no other chest here. There isn't. Okay. So that's basically a dead end that way. But we do get a box. What's in the box? Bandit shoes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are those gonna be like the dancer's ring or the bandit ring? Is that the male's version of the dancer shoes? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Uh, I don't even know who to give this to. I should probably give it to Dart. But that may change later. Like, I may give the dancer shoes, or the bandit shoes, I should say. I may give the bandit shoes to uh, someone like Kongle to give him a double speed. 
Or I may give Congo like a better accessory and just give him the bandit shoes. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good with those items. That that is an amazing item. That is that is worth all this mapping. Thought it was running in mid air there. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> That is worth all this mapping, 100%. That, that is totally worth it. The question is, is there any other items here? Well, there's no items probably underground, but there may be items on top. Okay, how do I get back to the spring? I go up, right, up, left, up, up. Yeah. Up, right. Up. Um, up, right, up, up, left, and then up. It's very nice of the game to have enemies that you can see in this area. Instead of just one random encounter after another. Okay, let us go right this time. Expecting a pit to the south? Yep. Okay. So, we have a pit here. I really don't think there's probably anything else underground. I need to check to see if I can go north. And then I need to check if I can go east. But first off, yes, I can go north. And no, I cannot go east. And no, there's no other chest here. Okay, so north. Okay. North. Now, there's a pit to the screen to the north of us where I get, uh, we got the, uh, the bandit shoes. Can we go left? We can go left, and that takes us back to the screen above the spring. So nice when the map comes together. It's a really cool map. I, I really like this. Uh, anything to the right? No, no. Pit, yep. We saw that pit coming. Is this gonna take us where the bandit ring was? Or the bandit shoes? Yes, it does. So I, I can finally understand how the pits work in this area. It doesn't matter which way you go into them. They lead you to the same result. Is there a pit to the north here? Yes, there is. And uh, this will not help me at all because we've already been to the pit on the other side. So we're good with that. Uh, and we have fully explored the desert according to my map. There is nothing else that we missed. Sweet. Maybe I'll take a picture of this map and uh, put it on Discord or something. Just to show you guys, uh, you know, my internal craziness here. Want to take one more fight? Yeah, let's take one more fight just for fun. Glub, 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 glub. Probably should have shut this guy down with Bart. Probably should have. Ooh, 587. Nice number there. Oh, we confused him. But he had him when he's confused though. Does he become unconfused? Take that, flurry of sticks. Or you know the instant probability death could work. Wait, does he have instant probability? I know Rose does. Does he have one? Huh, he must have. Cool. Alright, well, let's uh let's get the heck out of here, shall we? I didn't save. Let me, let me drop a uh, safety save here because I did not save at the uh Okay, don't have to worry about a boss. Death Frontier. Spring Breath Town Ular. Okay, well it's a town, so I'm not worried about uh, encounters in a town, am I? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Even if an adventurer is lucky enough to make it through the Death Frontier, Nobody can proceed from here. I mean, 
you say nobody challenged me to do something I'm not supposed to do. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Time was stopped for me 11,000 years ago with the spell of this choker. And this is the only way to see Ula, the spring breath town. Are we still okay with the fact that Rose is a mass murderer? Because she's been killing people for like... How many people has she probably killed? I mean, if we think about it. Every, what, a hundred and so years? It's been 11,000 years? I mean, she's probably had, what? At least 12? No. More than that. 120? She's probably had 120 instances of, like, mass murder. Man, she's... But, where is it? But the only thing here is an endless desert. I love how she's just flying next to Hashel. No, it's not. Hashel, I sense it. I sense people's feelings over there. Oh, Fleeting Day just, um, I just noticed uh, Fleeting Day's comment here. Uh, Fleeting Day says it's been about 101 times. Oh, pretty city. So 101 times. Uh, I, I said 120, I guess I'm kind of close. We can fly over there with this. Yeah, how are we flying? Are you afraid? I think you are. Maybe. We are standing by you. I don't know why. Like, seriously, why? I know. I guess we have to? Let's go. Oh, hello. It's a random box right there. Sun Rhapsody. Beam me up, Scotty. And by the way, thank you so much, Fleeting Day. Fleeting Day, um, actually has been tracking all my Stardust somehow, some way. I have no idea how Fleeting Day did that, but somehow has been tracking all my Stardust and told me exactly which ones I've gotten and which ones I haven't gotten. And that's been, that's amazing. So thank you for that. Um, and yes, I'm just going to go ahead and use that guide that was posted on my, on my comment section, uh, because at this point, there's no reason not to, I suppose. Ah, there was one on Veilweb? Really? There's one on Veilweb? Oh, that sucks. Could have gotten that one a while ago. Anyway. Welcome to Yulara, the Spring Breath Town. I am the guard of the teleporting device, Kaon. <laughs> uh, Karen is the uh, the Greek uh, character who ferries people over the river Styx. I'm a good friend of Rose's. Long time, no see. Long time? Rose, you are starting to begin at such a time, aren't you? No, not only that, you have recovered a lot of other things too. Are you the person who stopped time for Rose? No, it was Charlie for Ma. She is the person we had to meet now. Rose has been carrying the fate of the world all alone while shedding tears of blood. Yeesh. Can you go with Rose? Kaon, stop it. I don't need to force them. And of course, Kaon spelled differently in the Greek, but still, I, I find that hilarious. I've already sold things with the black monster. Really? You have? I mean, um... Have we, though? The only thing left is that I have to complete this journey with my companions. I think he's probably thinking the only thing that matters is saving Shana, right? If you understand that, I have nothing to say. Or, you know, saving the world. That, too. Go see Charles first. Until you do, I will close the way to going forward. Oh, so he's gonna block that all. Um, Stardust, 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 Stardust. Uh, Weapon Shop. And Better Roses and Large Snapping Plants. Okay. Uh, hi there. It's been a while since last time I saw a human other Rose. It's been 11,000 and some years. Oh, you guys live a long time. It's been 11,000 and some years since last time I saw a human other Rose. I kind of hate the beaming, so it makes me lose, like, track of where I am.
We only provide relaxation time during the night. Come back after dusk. Air closed. Okay. Why am I still clicking on everything when I know where the Stardusts are? <laughs> I, I, it's force of habit, I guess? Um, left is always right, but I'm already here, so let's go right. I know that's weird, but it happens. Oh, look at them. It's like something out of Mario. Miata, where's Charla? You are wondering because she would be normally take you taking care of these babies, right? Charla is preparing herself. Is it Charla or Charlie? You know, I'm gonna just say Charlie because I like that name. Because well, the things we did tell you about, right? Zeke told you them, so it must be about the moon signet. Tell me what you know. Tell me what you know if you want to live. Um, <clears throat> the signet is all. The signet is the signet sphere. The signet sphere is a sealing device that was created to be the last barrier, just in case the moon child reached the moon that ever sets. Even my mistake was in your plan. You are really scary people. Even more scary is Zeke. He is trying to destroy the signet sphere using the divine moon objects. Wait a minute. You made the signet sphere just because you were afraid of the birth of the god of destruction? And why did you make tools that can destroy the signet? Ask Charles. It was decided between the siblings. Or Charlie. I will. In the mouth, we found a stardust. Charlie has been waiting for you guys at a home since this morning. Please go see her. Did you go see Charlie? You guys were meant to come to the city. Humans, Gigantos, and one of us, a Wingley. What about the Minotos? I would like to tell you something. It wasn't only Wingleys that wanted the Dragon Campaign. However, it is true that Wingleys and humans throw themselves to war. If you have time, let me tell you a story about the two Wingleys who were the leaders. You know what? I, I Speaking of tell me stuff, I, I really want to know. Was there a character that was erased from the game? Because I almost get the feeling like there should be a Minotos character that we recruit. And yet, there isn't. So, did the Minotos character get replaced? Was that ever in the cards? Or am I just fictioning it that there should have been someone? Tell me. Do an FMV, please. Aw, oh, darn it. The first is Melbu Fama. He was the leader of the Wingleys during the Dragon Campaign. He was also the younger brother of Charlie. Being the leader of the Wingleys be meant being the ruler of the world. He professed that only Wingleys had the right to live, and he ruled over other species physically and mentally. As a result, the grievances of the other species accumulated, and the Dragon Campaign began. The war ended when the royal capital Cadessa was annihilated, and at the same time, Melbu Fama was killed by the sword of the dragoon, Zeg. The other man who led the Wingleys was Faust. Hey, I met that guy. As a right-hand man of Melbu Fama, he was feared by other Wingleys. He was also known as a wizard and magician and a bit of a dick. His magic power was incredibly enormous. He could even create his own apparition, his double. The apparition had most of the capabilities of Faust himself. However, Melbu felt uneasy out over the existence of the apparition, so he created something. What Faust did was like professing an intention towards disloyalty. It is natural that he didn't like it. It was called the Vanishing Stone. With that item, it is said that you can make the apparition disappear. Although I don't know if it's true or not, so I need to find that stone before I fight Faust. Someone remind me about that. Let's get back to the story. Faust was the commander of the super mobile fort Flynnvale as well. Now, Flynnvale is at the bottom of a glacier, however, it used to be floating in the sky in order to protect the five main cities that also float in the sky. Foss manipulated Flynnvale and killed any other species. However, the insanity of Foss ended with the collapse of Fennel. It was shot down by a weapon invented by humans, the Spear Shooter. Are you sure it wasn't shot down by, um, one of our characters in Bravely Second? That was a big cannon. Or maybe the little sister in Final Fantasy VII? That too? His beloved vehicle became his tomb. You should be satisfied with that. That is the end of my story. If you want to listen to it again, come back anytime.
I'm more than willing to tell you. So basically, the bottom line is, uh, we need to get a Vanishing Stone. That's like the long and short of his story, right? Must get a Vanishing Stone or else you're screwed. I don't think there's anything else over here. Hmm. Let's go back the other way first. Yeah, I'm paranoid. It happens. I, I don't like to miss things. Stuck? The water flowing down there is created by magic. Magic does bring happiness to the world. Let's use it in the wrong way. Maybe it's magical intentions. This place is beautiful. Can we just say that? Like, I would love to visit a place like this. This looks so amazing. Yes, I know I'm afraid of heights and I'll probably be petrified. But going down there into the water just looks so cool. Roses. I think Shadow would be happy to see them. Hey, it makes me relieved. I don't know you like flowers, Miranda. I guess there is some moment in you. <laughs> don't misread me. Roses make me puke. Wow. Don't buy her roses. They are just flashy. They don't have any kindness in them. Did you know why roses have thorns? It is to bring out their own red using the blood of the people they hurt. They'll do anything for their own happiness. Let's move on. I don't need to be here. Flowers open our heart only to the people who appreciate their beauty. Loving is very hard, but important. The thorn of the roses is the reverse side of their tendons. Don't you think so? Here, is that stardust? Roses in a water uh, fountain. It's a picture perfect scene. I think I probably would have found that one. I mean, both of these stardusts are kind of obvious. To make humans who are worn out by the war, regain their dreams and hope. This is the stardust plan. Stardust materializes prayers spoken with purity. Its magic power must still exist. How many do I have now? I have 39. So if I get the last one in here, I'll be able to get that 40 reward. Although I have no idea where Martell is. So that doesn't help me very much. Wow, that was cool. Uh, I made these just for today. Okay. Got an item shop. Uh, get rid of this healing potion. That's the first thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. We have a some absolute moon serenade, so we can sell this as well. And then so that's it. Uh, healing fog, healing breeze, panic bell. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. This is, uh, there we go, up to 40 now. These are filled with magic power. All right, well, let's see if you have anything good. Almost at 10,000. Like, I wanna get to 10,000 just to probably get like a trophy or something. Can we do that? Before we buy anything? Uh, I don't wanna sell that. Probably could sell this. Yeah. No trophy, aw, I'm disappointed. All right, give 50% more SP. Wow, I wish I had this on all my... Oh, I may be able to get that on all my characters. Nope, I do not. Although on her, that's great because she doesn't have any additions. So just getting more SP is great for powering up her forms. Uh, this is automatically a better damage. So even though I don't need the more SP, it's still good. Although the attack that we're using gives no SP at all. Uh, Thunder base attack? Sure, why not? Uh, magical Grease? Increase evasion? Don't really need. Wow, that's really good. Um, increases AAV. Ah, I don't think I need any of that. It's too bad we didn't get more than 50% uh, items. It would have been really good if we got that on all the characters as a way of power leveling your SP. I mean, that would have been nice. At least we got it on one character, Miranda. Uh, because, like I said, she has no S um, she has no additions, so 
That's not a bad thing. All right, let's head back to that teleporter. Up this way. Oh, Rosie, darling, I'm been waiting for you. By the way, thank you, uh, Kyle, to Pape as well. He also left me a list of Stardust. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, everyone. I, I so appreciate you all. You all are just the number one YouTube community on YouTube. I know I, I don't say it enough. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I don't need your greetings. You know what I want to ask you? Oh, you are scary. But before that, can you introduce me to the son of dear Ziggy? Wait, you know? This is Dart. Doesn't he look just like our Ziggy? But Rosie, honey, it's complicated. You have to fight with the son of someone who used to be a significant other. And furthermore, the enemy is a significant other. Do you want me to give you a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> Sorry, honey. But I'm really concerned, so I'm intentionally making it happy and delightful so that you won't be depressed, Rosie, sweetheart. You have never changed. Uh, Charlie, if you know, please tell us. Where should we head to? Really, you have the same eyes as Ziggy. I know, I have been waiting for you in order to tell you everything. Now, what would you like me to tell you? Well, this is good for you. Well, we'll go down the list. Ziggy is trying to break the signet of the moon that never sets with the magic power of the divine moon objects. That signet is the signet sphere. I am sorry that I did tell you about this. I have to apologize. I miss the moon child, Shana. But you still have time. The signet of the moon that never sets is not yet broken. Where are the remaining signets? In the past, there were placed in five cities, but there are only three left. That's why they needed the same number of divine moon objects. What happened to the other two? One was destroyed in the royal capital Cadessa during the dragon campaign. And the other was lost when the divine pal dragon assaulted the crystal palace. Does this mean without the divine moon objects the signet sphere can be destroyed? The divine moon objects are just tools that conceal vast amounts of magic power, that's all. So in order to destroy the signet sphere, having the same amount of magic power as the divine wind objects is sufficient. My dad knew about this and made Lloyd collect them. It doesn't seem like him, and it's so indirect, plus something is strange. I wonder how Ziggy knows about the signet sphere. Not only that, he knew that Shana is the moon child. About the moon that never sets. It's the 108th fruit that the Divine Tree dropped. It was conceived with the God of Destruction that ends the world. That's why we separated into his soul and flesh and sealed them away. My baby brother Melbu sealed his soul, which was the source of magic power in the Crystal Sphere, but um, when he fought with Ziggy, it was broken. Then the soul escaped from the Crystal Sphere and started to transmigrate into a human body. Since then, it has been called the Moon Child. What is left in the sky is the moon that never sets. When the ch moon child goes back to the moon that never sets, the Raj embryo, the god of destruction, will be born. So we need a Rosie to take on an important task. Please understand her. About my father. It's very Star Wars like now that I think about it. I didn't even make that connection before, but wow. Tell me about my father. You are concerned, aren't you? Why does he have to destroy the world? Sorry, but that is the one thing I don't understand. But he is unmistakably Zeke. Ziggy was the fiance of Rosie. They crossed both swords in love. Just looking at them made me feel embarrassed. Should I start calling Rose mom? <laughs> That's kind of weird. No, I know, I know she's not our mom, but still, it is kind of weird. Stop right there. 
I want to talk alone with Zeke about our memories. I agree. Why make items to break the signet? Why did you make the divine wind objects that can break the signet sphere? That's right. If you were not planning to allow the Vaj Emir to be born, you wouldn't need them. I didn't want to, but my baby brother Melbu insisted. That was dumb. That is not an explanation, Charlie. Oh, you are so uptight. But okay, I'll explain it to you. I told you that we sealed the soul of the Vaj Emir in the crystal sphere, right? It is in order to, to draw lots of magical power and will over other creatures. I want to make himself being a dictator, because even though we have different appearances or capabilities, we are the same. We should be able to live together on good terms. That's why I created the Signet Sphere in order to weaken the magic power of the Crystal Sphere. Rose, without telling you that. The five signets that, that protect the moon that never sets re restrain for the magic power that flows from there. My operation was a big success, I thought. But Melbu found out about it and created the Divine Moon objects. I guess he was prepared so he could destroy the signets anytime he wanted to. Hmm, I get it. Where are the rest of the signets? That's right. That is the most important information for you, isn't it? Because Ziggy has the Divine Moon objects, he can break the signets any time. Listen carefully. The rest of the three signet spheres are located in the ancient cities. The name of the cities are the Magical City Aglis, the Lost City Zenobatos, and the Death City Mayfield. Those cities are still alive. It's surprising, isn't it? Of course, they were badly damaged in the war. How do we get there? Go to Vogue. Then your way will be open. Hey, is it Vogue? It's my home town! Ah, uh, see, it is already open, isn't it? Well, it'll be night soon. Why don't you go look around until tomorrow morning? Alright, um... I need to take a break, but let's talk to these people first. Oh, that's sweetie really pie. Everybody is outside. Don't worry about me. Go take a walk in Lara at night. Alright, well, yeah, we'll take a little walk uh, next time because we're already over an hour and it's getting late. I need to go to bed. Uh, I'll try to see about taking a picture of my map and posting on Discord. If you don't know our Discord, it's in the description box below. Uh, come join us. I'd love to talk to you and just hang out. I mean, no pressure. Uh, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.